So today, you guys, what we're going to talk about is equations of circles. Okay. So a standard form. It says, "What's standard form of a circle?" Where's my pen already? No, I'll use my pencil. Okay, so write this down. We have standard form of a circle is parentheses x minus h, Nikolai, stop talking, squared, plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That is the standard equation of a circle in standard form. Write that down. Write that down. Now, the center of the circle, in math, two things. It's on the inside, so it's the opposite, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it also says negative, which means opposite. So the center of the circle are going to be these two numbers, which is going to be a h, k, h, k. So in our example, in our example, the center The center is at positive 2, negative 3. So this circle we will graph. This is an example 1. The center of this circle is at positive 2, negative 3. So if I want to graph this circle, I'm going to go to 2, negative 3. Okay, that's the center of my circle. Okay, so I took my equation. The center are, it happens to be these two numbers, but it's going to be opposite, positive 2, negative 3. Now the radius of the circle is going to simply be the square root Five. of that number. Yeah, totally right. So the radius of this circle is going to equal the square root of 25, which is 5. Okay, so it's that easy. We find the center by taking the opposite, opposite, that's the center, so 2, negative 3, and then the radius is the square root of this number, so I'm going to graph it. And I'm not much of an artist, so I'm going to hopefully it'll be circular, but I'm going to take the center. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to go back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I went from the center, 5, 5, up 5, down 5. And now I'm going to try and draw a circle, okay? Katie's circles are probably going to look better than mine, but I'm going to try and make a nice looking circle. If yours looks like potatoes, uh, it's okay. Just as long as you have your circle in the right spot with the right radius, it's good to go. Okay? Pretty easy, isn't it? So you have to go to the equation. It's the opposite, opposite for the center. And <coughs> square to that number for the radius. Cooper, what's up? Okay. Now, if we know that, then we should be able to take, on example two, this information and rewrite it in its standard form. So we need an equation. So we need this question to look like some kind of equation like this. We want this question to have an answer like question one. Okay. So we're going to use our equation. Our equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That's my equation of a circle. That's my standard form. So let's start there. If it says Find the equation. It says find the equation. Let's use the standard form. Okay, now we're going to plug 3 and 4 in for here and here. We're going to put 3 here, we're going to put 4 here, and we're going to put 4 squared here, and that's going to be our answer. We'll take our 3 and put it there for h, we'll take our 4 and put it there for k, and we'll take our 4 and make it 4 squared, and that will be our answer. So we're going to rewrite our equation as an x minus 3 squared plus a y minus 4 squared equals 4 squared. The only thing I'm going to simplify is the 4 squared. I'm going to make that into a 16. I will leave it in this form. I won't foil it out because that would make it a mess. So I'm just going to fix just the 4 squared. So a better answer would be x minus 3 squared plus a y minus 4 squared equals 16. Okay, thumbs up. Okay, pretty good. Okay. All right, turn the page whenever you're ready. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, turn the page. Now, example three. 
What's the equation of this circle? So first of all, let's see if we can find the center. I know my equation is this x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Did you get the center at 2, 2, Ben? Yeah. Okay. So to find the center, we can kind of try and find the diameter. You guys with me? Find the center, right? Kind of, you guys agree with the center being right there? Mm -hmm. Kind of found both diameters and cross through. So the center's at 2, 2. So I'm going to put 2 for h, and I'm going to put 2 for k, right? So I'm like, all right, I can do that. I can go, okay, x minus 2 squared plus a y minus 2 squared equals, well, the radius. I can just count the radius, can't I? Let's see, the radius 1, 2, 3, 4. So the radius is 4, so it equals 4 squared, all right? I just count the radius. And, of course, I'm going to change that to a 16 just looks nice, okay? So I'll rewrite my answer as an x minus 2 squared plus a y minus 2 squared equals 16, okay? How am I doing, Cody? No? All right, now example four. No. Um, find the equations if the center's at 1, 2, and the at point's 4. Now, if I could graph this, it might help, okay? Sometimes if I take a look at it, it might get an idea. So I'm going to actually graph this one piece of paper. If I can see it, I might, it might be really easy if I graph it, okay? It might be really easy, okay? So I've got the point one, two. Here's my center. It's my center. And I have another point at four. One, two, three, four, two, okay? So my circle is going to look something like this. Okay, again, I'm not, I'm not an artist. Okay, you guys okay with that? She looks something like that, right? So again, I want the equation. So I'm going to start off with x minus h squared plus a y minus k squared equals r squared. And I already know the center. The center's been given to me. The center's at 1, 2, right? So I'm going to put my 1 there and my 2 there, right? And the center's at 1, 2, so I'll put the 1 there. I'll put the 2 there, so I'll go, okay, I'll go ahead and x minus 1 squared plus a y minus 2 squared equals the radius squared. Well, I think I can get the radius from the picture, can't I? I think I can get the radius from the picture. 1, 2, 3. I think the radius is 3, isn't it? Looks like 3 to me. So I'll go equals 3 squared. Okay, and the only thing I'm going to do is change that to a 9, and I'll be done. So I'll rewrite this as a x minus 1 squared plus a y minus 2 squared equals 9. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Last question. Last question should take a little bit more work, but, but I can do it, okay? Yeah, pretty easy day, huh? So the center, here it is. That's my center. So, okay, my equation is this x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. You notice I always start with that equation, right? Because that's the equation of a circle. So I'm going to put my 7 there, and I'll put my negative 9 there. Put my 7 there, and put my negative 9 there for h and k. So I'm going to write this as an x minus 7 squared plus a y minus a negative 9 squared equals r squared, okay? Double negative, I'll change that to plus, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody agree? You got the double negative, so Ben, double negative, 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 make that to a plus, right? Everybody agree with that? Right. I now, I don't know the radius. So maybe if I graph it, I might be able to find out what the radius is. So if I graph it, let's see. I think on my graph paper, I might be able to get a hint. So let's see, so I'm gonna put this on my graph paper. And I'm gonna be at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that is my center way down there. And I've got a point at three. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there, okay? Now, what I need to know is this length here, right? Because that's the radius, right? I need to know this length right here. So a long time ago in algebra, you guys learned this thing called the distance formula with two points. 
Let me write it down. Let me write it down. So the distance formula was this. Distance formula was the square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that distance would really actually be our radius. So this, let's not call it a distance point. For us, let's call it a radius point. Okay? Can we use that? We can. We can because what we have is two points, right? Right. So if we can find the length between these two points, that's the radius. Does that make sense? If I can find the distance between these two points, that's my radius. Okay, so let's keep going with that. So that's, that's an x and that's a y. How about we make that, um, and that's an x and a y. So I'll make this maybe x2, y2, x1, y1, right? And you guys have learned this way back in algebra. Hopefully as I do this, you go, oh yeah, I've seen this before. I'm hoping. Don't give me the Mrs. Down story, okay? So distance is equal to the square root. Okay, x2, I'm going to go 7 minus 3 squared, okay? That one, the x value minus the x value. I'm using the formula. I've got x2 minus x1 plus, I'm going to go negative 9 plus negative 9 minus a negative 6, right? Yep, squared. Totally right, okay? So what I'm doing is this. I want to find the distance between these two points because the distance between those points happens to be the radius. That makes sense. To find that distance, I use the distance formula. Okay, this is the distance formula, okay? That's my x7 minus my x. Just plug it in, plug it in. This is my y value, my y value, okay? Now, if I simplify this double negative, it's a plus, right? So let's see what I have. I've got distance equals the square root of 4 squared plus negative 3 squared. How am I doing, okay? Which is the square root of 16 plus 9, which is 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. So the radius is 5, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's finish up the problem. Let's just put 5 squared right there. Because the radius is 5. 5 squared is 25. So we can change that to a 25. Okay. That was a harder one, but not too bad. Okay. Now, another way, real quickly, if you can see this. If you didn't like the distance, well, watch this. I'll show you another way. Yeah, you want to see another way to do this one? That might be a little easier. It doesn't always work unless you have a good craft, but okay, real quick then, just here's another way to do this. What do you see? What do you see? A triangle. What kind of triangle? A right triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Wow. And that's what the discipline really is, right? Okay, um, stop recording.